Hello, welcome to SourceCAD. You know the general use of fillet command. It is just used to make a rounded corner around sharp edges or the sharp edges of two lines or polylines, but it can not be used to do much more. Let's start with the scenario of parallel lines here. I have three pair of parallel lines. Let's try and apply fillet command in between parallel lines. So you know that fillet command can be started by clicking on this fillet icon on the modify panel of home tab or you can also start fillet command by typing F on command line and press enter. Now we have plenty of options to choose from. So initially we used to give a radius value to this fillet but if you are applying fillet between two parallel lines you don't need to give any radius. So without taking any radius you can directly see that the radius is zero units right now click on the edges of these two lines which are parallel Ooh, and what happened the longer line got trimmed and it made a semicircular arc now let's go and repeat this process so let's go to fillet and this time i'm selecting a radius and i'm selecting a radius of 500 units and press enter and let's see what what will happen in this case okay here also so you can directly see that whatever radius I will give it will always make a semicircular arc one more thing that while applying fillet for parallel lines if you want to apply arc on these two edges on these two corners then make sure that you click close to these two corners and the fillet will be applied on this side and the similar analogy will apply to these two parallel lines as well so select fillet click on these two edges and here we have the fillets Okay, now let's move on to two apparently intersecting lines. Now, if we have these two apparently intersecting lines, then select fillet and let's select radius. Make sure that radius is zero in this case and press enter. And now let's click on these two lines. Ooh, and what happened? It extended these two lines and made them intersect at their apparent point of intersection. If you'll select fillet command again and give it a radius so right now I'm giving it a radius of two units and press enter and now let's apply the fillet then it will obviously apply a small radius at the edges now if the radius was bigger let's say that the radius was of six units and now you'll see the effect more clearly in this case so here we have these edges the rounded edges so you can apply fillet between these edges like this let's move on to a third scenario here let's go to fillet and now let's go to trim and now you can directly see that the trim option is selected by default so let's keep it at trim and select radius make sure that the radius is zero units so zero and press enter now click on these two lines and you'll see that these extra edges are chopped off okay let's go to fillet again let's go to trim and now this time select no trim and let's go to radius I'll apply a radius of 10 units in this case and press enter now since we have applied no trim it will make a fillet you can clearly see that there is a fillet but all the extra edges are not chopped off let's go to fillet again go to trim and select trim select radius and apply a radius of 10 units and again repeat the process for these two edges and clearly in this case the fillet is applied and the extra edges are chopped off so if you select trim extra edges will be removed if not they will be retained that's a simple thing uh, you need to remember okay now let's move on to trim and let's see what else it has for us so we have seen that this trim command can be applied on these sharp edges now I will return back to the original configuration of this geometry and I will trim off or I'll chop off all these extra edges using trim command so here all the extra edges are now chopped off okay select all click on J and press enter now all the edges are joined into a single polyline let's go to fillet again now 
In fillet, you'll see here a polyline command or a polyline subcommand. Let's go to first radius, change radius to 10 units and now click on polyline and click on any edge and voila, all the edges have a radius of 10 units. So selecting polyline command only in case of polylines which are connected to each other will make radius, uh, will make a fillet of specified radius at every corner. Now let's select one more scenario. In this scenario, we have a geometry made with polylines like this. And let's remove this geometry. We don't need it. And let's make a rectangle also. Now again, go to fillet, select a radius. I'm specifying obviously radius of 10 units. And here we have an option multiple. Click on this multiple option. And now you can continue making your fillet. So when you make your fillet on any single corner, the fillet command will not stop. It will continue. You can see that we are still in fillet command and you can keep on applying fillet to as many edges as you want. So here also you can apply fillet to this edge, and you can keep on applying all these fillets. So in this way, you can use these commands. And if you want to apply fillet on this polyline, so the fillet will be applied on every corner. Let's go and select this. So go to radius, 10 radius, select polyline and click on one edge and the fillet will be applied on every single corner. So clearly this will come in handy if you want to apply multiple fillets at single with single click. So that was all in this tutorial. See you again in the next one. And once again, thanks for watching.